Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Imperator Rome as we are playing as the Roman Republic. So I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. I know mine was pretty good. Uh, you know, I had that family day on Friday, which we had a pretty good time. And then the weekend continued on uh, pretty well. Uh, so I had a good weekend. Hope you guys did as well. Uh, let's go get started in today's episode where we're going to be talking about, here in the beginning, about the mission uh, situation. So... Most people seem to agree that these probably aren't worth it. Uh, a few people said, you know, let's just do them real quick so that we can get the uh, Colonia here. But you know what? I, I feel like we'll be stuck in this for a while, uh, considering just the requirements for these. I mean, we have to own all this territory here. So I really don't think this is like a quick thing uh, just to get the Colonia. I think we'll be in it for a while. And and again, I just don't feel like it's worth it. Uh, the Colonia is helpful, but yeah, I just, I just don't know if it's worth it going through all these and, and changing up our, our plans the way we we're going to, to do our conquest here, which I was going to attack into Greece immediately and then expand up into, uh, you know, into Macedonian territory uh, next. We'd have to go through this way instead. Uh, and, and that's fine as well. You can do that. Uh, that's a lot of tribes to conquer, though. Probably going to require multiple wars, too. So, yeah, I think the, the better option is to just attack, uh, attack Sparta. That's what I think we're, we're going to end up doing. Uh, so, with that in mind, this, this tree here I just don't think is worth it, guys. I, I think it's really more about subjugating Greece than it is about, like, annexing them. That's just what it seems like to me based on the, uh, you know, the descriptions here and the, the effects of them. So, we're going to go and abort it. You know, we haven't done anything in them, so it's not that big of an issue. I had several comments about this mission, the conquest of Africa. And, you know, I had said that I was concerned that it was going to require us to go into Egypt or whatever. And you, you can see in the description here, it says this mission will be considered complete when Western North Africa is subjugated or conquered. So we just really need to get control of this Carthaginian territory here. And uh, the thing was, is I didn't read this. I was assuming it was the other uh, you know, African mission that we had gotten. And a lot of people were pointing out that in episode 25, this was the same mission. I wasn't talking about episode 25, guys. Uh, a lot of people were like, oh, what's the same? You can see the description, the name's the same, you know, everything's the same. I wasn't talking about that uh, from that episode. I was talking about from way back, uh, back in like, I don't know, episode 10, 11, 12, somewhere around there, uh, when we were figuring out what mission we were going to do next. And I think it was called North Africa, the conquest of North Africa. And I was looking in the mission trees in the files, and I, I think it's a generic mission, like a generic conquer North Africa. And if it was, then it would have required us to conquer all territory that the game considers to be part of North Africa, which I, I don't know, um, you know, which which uh, territory it considers to be North Africa, but I would assume it would have required us to go after Egypt. Because, again, I think it's that generic one uh, where it just, you know, picks a, a location for you to conquer uh, because it did not have all this text here. You'll see, uh, you know, it says here right at the top. Now that the Carthaginians have been kicked out of Hispania, Corsica, Sardinia and Sicily. When we were looking at that mission, they were not kicked out of all those areas, I don't think, and we hadn't even gotten into North Africa yet. Uh, so I think this is a, a different mission from the one I was talking about, you know, which was, again, quite a while ago, from weeks ago. Uh, so just to, to clarify that, because I think some people thought I was talking about from, from episode 25, which is, is not the case. I didn't read that one either. Uh, so if I had read these, I would have realized uh, that this is a completely different mission, and this is just from Western North Africa, so there's no reason why we shouldn't be able to easily complete this, I would assume. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do this. You'll see the Punic Rivals one is back as well, but as we know, this one did focus largely on Hispania. So let's just do Conquest of Africa and, and see what it offers. I'm sure we're going to be able to do most of these from the beginning. Uh, yeah, you'll see we already have uh, three right here uh, that we can already start with. So this one here is just for conquering Carthage, and as I, I think it's this province right here. Yeah, so this uh, state and this state is uh, what has allowed us to, to do this mission, which is Roman Africa. Uh, every territory in those areas are going to, or that produce grain, will get the modifier African breadbasket, which is going to reduce the total slaves needed for local surplus. So that'll be really helpful. Uh, we'll have more grain here. Uh, then we also have the Secure the Numidian Coast, which we've already completed that one as well. Uh, every coastal province in the region of Numidia gains the modifier Roman Merchants Present, and that is going to give us, for 240 months, a plus 20% province commerce and a plus eight percent local citizen happiness that'd be really helpful uh, because the happiness is not very high in this area the kingdom of numidia every colonized territory in the region uh, so this will allow us to release a subject named numidia it'll be given all the territories rome holds in the region we don't want to do that one uh, so yeah we're going to start with this one guys secure the numidian coast and uh, i guess that one was immediate the effect was 
because uh, it already allows us to get the Roman Numidia. So this one here is going to have a similar modifier in the region of Numidia, uh, but it's going to increase the local slave desired ratio while decreasing local tribes and happiness. I'm fine with that one. Uh, apparently to get into integrating Africa, we, okay, that one's bypassed. Excellent. So we don't have to do that one. Yeah, these are all bypassed. Uh, so yeah, going down this one and this one, which we might be able to do this one immediately as well. We'll let us go to this one. So let's go ahead and start with this one since it's immediate. And then we'll do the Roman Africa one next. Yeah, these are all immediate ones. We don't have to wait, so that's nice. Uh, what's up with this one here? All right, so it seems, yeah, we, we don't have the requirements for that one. And I don't know if we'll need the to do this one uh, to finish the mission tree or not. Uh, we have Punic colonies uh, or Phoenician cities. Uh, we can't do both of them. Uh, so you know, I think we can. I think we can just do all these uh, immediately because yeah, they don't have a timer here. But we'll, we'll look at the effects. We've already seen the effects for this one, so let's go ahead and take that. That's super helpful. And, and then right away we can do the integrate in Africa. Let me see what this one's about. Punic colonies. Uh, so the coastal provinces in those regions. Hmm. Are are those all the regions in there? Let me just take a look real quick because I wouldn't want to get something that would apply to territory that we haven't yet uh, conquered. Yeah, I think it's just these two regions here. And I think since it requires you to have all of them already. Yeah, it's just those two regions there. So there's no reason not to take it. Okay, so that's going to give us that same modifier in these ones. Uh, we cannot get the, the pillars of, of Hercules yet. Uh, obviously, we don't have this region here conquered. Uh, so let's do the integrating Africa next. So every Roman territory in the regions... Uh, in all those four regions are going to get the integration policy uh, that's going to result in an increase of local population happiness and increase in both pop, pop conversion speed and pop assimilation speed. Hmm. Man, I would really like that to apply to the Punic culture, but we'd have to, to remove the integration status and they would not be happy about that. And I was just integrating them to get control of all these units here, and also just because we were having a lot of happiness issues. But man, I, I don't know that I want to keep them as a uh, integrated culture, especially since we're so far away being able to use their traditions. So maybe I'll finally give you guys what you want. You want. And, and we won't make them into slaves, but maybe make them into freemen so they won't be integrated anymore. I, I just really want that, that bonus to apply to the Punic culture because you only get it for 240 months. And, and it'll apply to... These regions here guys uh, so I mean we'd have to go in the regions to see exactly where this all applies so Africa Numidia and I want to say that region as well in which case you know what it might be better to get that conquered yeah I think it would be better now obviously we're not gonna go this far out over here but that applies to that area as well okay so I really feel like it would be far more worth it to wait until we have this area conquered. So after we have another conflict with the Carthaginians, and and that allow me to, to wait before we uh, uh you know change up the Punic cultures, uh, you know their their policy right now because that's gonna of course cause a lot of unhappiness. Uh, so yeah, I think we'll, we'll conquer them next. When can we declare war on them again? Uh, I know that we have a, a peace treaty with them right now until 570. But we already have claims though, uh, so we don't have to wait for that. We have one claim anyway. All right, uh, so yeah, let's let this play a little bit. I'm gonna play for a few months here. I was gonna create another legion over here, a third legion, an African one, but if we're gonna be changing up the uh, the civic rights of the the Punic culture, then that's gonna result in uh, a lot of changes with how many units we're gonna be able to to bring to bear over here. So maybe I should wait to create that Af African legion. Yeah, I probably should wait. Uh, so what we want to do, I don't want to import and wine there, uh, we want to go ahead and, and start getting ready to declare war on on uh, these, these Spartans here, which we need to get a claim on them. We don't have that yet. Uh, so yeah, let's go and work on that uh, since we got to wait four years to declare war on Carthage anyways. Uh, so let's go and fabricate a claim on them. And we're going to want to fabricate a claim. I, I suppose we'll want to land right here. This makes the most sense. Uh, and they did win their war over here as well. So they have control of that, that entire region. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and do that one. And we'll have that on the 1st of July. Oh, no, no, that's not the 1st of July. <laughs> the 1st of July is when we can send another offer to them. Uh, it's going to take a lot longer than, than that to, to get this done. But yeah, as soon as it's done, we'll be able to declare war on them. And again, our granaries have been raided. All right, it's unfortunate. Yeah, it's just, it's just blowing our money, man. 
It's just, why is that event firing so damn often? Like, it seems broken, man. It just feels like it shouldn't fire that much, right? Am I crazy? Uh, oh, man. It's only 4,000 troops, so we gotta march all the way over there to fight them. Uh, how much would it cost to just pay them off? Uh, because I'm feeling lazy here. A lot. Yeah, it'd be a lot of money. All right, we'll have to raise up the army and, and fight them. Uh, that's un unfortunate, uh, but that's what we'll do. Uh, now, we do have the legions. So I could just send the legion over there, I suppose. Yeah, whatever. It'd probably be better just to send them. Uh, this is going to stop them from drilling, and obviously these guys are going to have advanced quite a bit by the time we get up there. Uh, maybe we'll just go here. We do have the roads, but we don't have them all the way through our territory yet, so we actually need to do a bit of road, road building. Uh, we have an invention. All right, excellent. Uh, I don't know which one we had just gotten. Uh, I think it was oratory. That's what I'm going to say. I could be wrong here, but that's what we're going to go go with because I think we just got the civil one in the previous episode. All right, so there's two current things to consider, routes to consider uh, here in the oratory advances. So, of course, this one here, I believe we talked about before, it does have some, some great uh, bonuses for the aggressive expansion. I think there's a couple of them. So yeah, you get a negative 0 0.02 there, a negative 0 0.01, a negative 0 0.04. Uh, really kind of helps you reduce that aggressive expansion a lot quicker overall. Uh, another thing uh, to consider here is a plus five for loyalty of generals. That one's great as well. And then finally getting down to this last one, this is the one that everybody likes to try and beeline down to because it unlocks the Imperial Challenge War Goal, which we used against Carthage in the beginning of the Punic Wars. Uh, and that, that can be used against any major powers or higher. And that allows you to, you know, every time you take the province, then it goes, uh, you know, straight over to your control. Uh, it allows you to conquer a vast amount of territory. Uh, and it's very helpful against uh, the larger powers. So a lot of people like going down this way. I feel like this is the only way to really uh, actually conquer the, what the, the Romans conquered historically uh, because of the AE restrictions. I would say this is the only way to do it, uh, you know, by getting that. Uh, it allows you to just conquer these, these large powers very, very quickly. So obviously we want to get down to that, but at the same time, that is... Uh, a ways away, and not all these are great on the way down there. Uh, the aggressive expansion change helps, uh, but there's so that means there's one more route to go to, which this is a good good one as well. Uh, so getting down to these ones here, uh, there are some really good bonuses here. I, I particularly like this one here with the monthly political influence plus 25%. That helps quite a bit. The loyalty of characters plus two. If you're going down this route, you're getting more research, which I always like anything that gives more research here. Uh, this one's pretty good. Uh, there's a, there's a really uh, a lot of good stuff through here. Uh, now, we've already gotten down to here, and this would thus be the quickest way to get down here, but I don't really like this route. And I'm just not a big fan of, of going down this way. Uh, I would instead uh, prefer, because you don't have to go through here, uh, I'd prefer to go down this route somewhere, and then uh, you know go this way and, and then down here to get to these. Uh, although you don't really need to, you can go this way as well. Uh, so yeah, I really think we should go down that route because there's some, some good stuff here as well. Particularly like this one here where you get that plus five loyalty of governors. I like anything that gives me gives me a lot more loyalty. So yeah, we could go down this route as well that would take longer to get down there. But yeah, there's some great stuff here. Uh, I think we'll, we'll start with this one, guys. Uh, but, but yeah, I, I do want to go down this route as well if we can. Maybe we'll flip-flop. It's probably not the best way to do it, but that's one option. Uh, it just kind of sucks. You got to get this one to, in order to continue down here. This one's pretty garbage. Let's just improve opinion a bit higher. So I guess there's that, uh, which was the thing that was stopping us here is that we'd already maxed them out here uh, on what we were able to get it to. Uh, we're going to wait till we try and spend any more money to increase their opinion. We'll just wait. The aggressive expansion is still hitting us kind of hard whenever it comes to, to opinion, guys. Uh, so he has some health issues. And barbarians continue taking over these province locations. Uh, but we are still on the way, marching over there to get them destroyed. Because uh, I just I just don't want to pay them. They, they want too much damn money. Roma is prospering. Uh, so we can get this bonus again for a year. Well, obviously, we're not going to go with that one. Uh, we could do this one to get the stability. That's uh, quite good as well. Uh, but, you know, I think we're going to go with this one, guys. More taxes, population output, manpower, all that good stuff. Uh, big jump in income there. Uh, so, still trying to chase these dudes down here. Are we paying for our army? I'm pretty sure we are paying for the army because we've uh, been training, so they should be getting paid for, yeah. Just make sure that's the case. I was uh, trading for a lot of honey, since it's one of the more expensive uh, food goods. So I got like a lot of our provinces trading for other people's honeys. 
Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and trade with them, I suppose. The Egyptians. All right, so we've already defeated them. Excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and, and get roads, guys. Uh, this is kind of a pain in the butt getting all the way, all the way up here without the roads. So we'd want to have the roads going through here to this province here, and then have that road system connect uh, with these ones, I suppose. Yeah, connect down here. Could also have them go this way. And then go this. I mean, we might want it to do all of that. Uh, but let's just go here for now. Uh, let's go ahead and set them up to build a military road. And let's have them go. Let's do it like this. I think that's a little bit better. Yeah, so we'll have them go through there. Get those roads constructed for us. And these guys are wanting some salt. Yeah, we'll trade that away. So they are one of our subjects. And, you know, I'm going to tell both of them no. Arbitrarily. Uh, we're going to trade these, though. Let me just see who these guys are again, though. Yeah, yeah, we'll trade with them. All right, excellent. So, I think we still we still have that one ship here. Do we have anybody in charge of that? We do. We're still using this as a, a slot. Somebody really wanted me to get rid of that, that ship, but we're still using it for our uh, families. And uh, I never did take a look at the, the bony agenda, but they want those rights again, and we're going to tell them no. It's just going to have to piss them off. I really don't like that that agenda whenever they want that. Uh, but luckily, the bony, you know, they, they, don't, uh, they don't dislike us too much. They're at 90-something, so uh, even here at 40, uh, that's, not, that's not bad at all, guys. Uh, so will we trade with these guys? We will trade with them. And we got another one of these tribal chief events. And we can become friends with him. I don't know who this guy is. Uh, these guys are a subject, so why would we not want to become friends with them or subjects? Sure. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we could also start integrating those if we wanted to. Uh, we're just going to keep them as little subjects for now, though. Uh, because it, it doesn't look like they're all that interested in rebelling. We put them down. They have been subjugated. They know the benefits of being part of the Roman Empire. Uh, so we can say excellent here and get the plus 30% local tax bonus for 60 months. Or you can get population growth with increased migration at attraction. I do like population growth. But I think we're going to go with that money. It's always nice. Actually, we need to spend some money. Uh, so let's go ahead and probably continue spending. I think we've already built over here. Yeah, we're done there. But we're going to continue uh, building these, these new territories here since... Uh, the loyalty could end up getting hit. In fact, let me just make sure we're doing good all in this area because once we change these guys away, we're definitely gonna get hit on the loyalty. Uh, so you know what, let's go ahead and, and uh, build here. Yeah, once we change them off that uh, civic rank that they're currently on, you can bet they're gonna get very irritated with us. Uh, so let's do the, did I build in both of these? Yeah, we built in, in these two. All right, so let's go ahead and build over here then. Go ahead and do the, I guess we want to do the Great Temple first, and it looks like we can do both. We have the money for both. All right, excellent. Let's continue building over there. Did we get our, no, we didn't. We're not, we're not quite there yet. 80, now 93% there. Uh, Macedon wants some wine. We're going to tell them no. And we're going to tell them, we can tell them yes. All right, so almost there, guys. Uh, we want to probably go ahead and get our armies raised up. We're going to bring this legion over here. I don't think we'll need much more than that, but we'll probably bring some levies anyways. Uh, leave this legion over here, building roads, although I got them just sitting here not doing anything. Uh, let's go ahead and get them going. Ooh, how we want to do this. See how the best way to, to go about doing this would be. I guess we'll go through here. They might do that on their own anyway. Uh, so they're going to go this way. All right, so that works. I'm fine with that. Have them connect with this road system here. And yes, we do want to raise up the, I guess, the levies of Magna Grecia. Or we could do our own levies, I suppose. I guess that makes sense uh, to have our own levy so that, you know, our, our consul will be in charge here. And I didn't realize the new family was already out there. Although, he's part of the Cornelius family. Where did all the colors change? Because they weren't the, the Cornelius family. We're clicking every button but the right one. Oh, okay. So yeah, the colors changed up a bit. So the Cornelia, the Cornelius family is this color now. And the blue, which was the death. Okay, so everybody's, everything's changed up here with the colors. That's a bit confusing. So what is this like the robber, robberious family? Yeah, something like that. I might be mispronouncing that. Let me know in the comments if I am, since obviously I need to say it quite a bit. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll bring up the, uh, the, the levies of our console here. 
And uh, they got six war elephants, nice. Uh, so yeah, we're gonna just bring up these. This will be uh, plenty enough, guys. Uh, more, more than enough than what we'll actually need here. In fact, we'll probably split them into three. Uh, go ahead and get like, obviously the, the typical sieging one here. And that'll probably be plenty enough, but we'll go ahead and also give them one of those. That gets them up to 12,000. Uh, with these guys here, we'll wanna split them again and just throw in maybe some light cav with some elephants and stuff and maybe a few heavy infantry. That's the best way to go about doing this. So yeah, we'll give them six of the light infantry. Or excuse me, of the light cav. Four of the heavy infantry and two of the bows here. And gets them up to 12 units with 6,000 total. Uh, so we're going to give them a few more things. Maybe some of these elephants here. Yeah, I'll do a few of those elephants. And that's probably good. But we'll also give them a go, ahead, go ahead and give them a bowman. Uh, so that gets them up to 9,000. And then we'll have the army of 16,500. So, you know, what? I probably want to reorganize that just a little bit. Maybe hand off like 1,500 more troops. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So three more units is what we're looking to give them. And I'm probably just going to do the, uh, the light cav. There we go. All right, so we've got all of our or, uh, units organized. Let's go ahead and get them moving over to this port here. And then we'll move all of them across since we're just about ready to declare war here. Uh, also got the martial advances just in time for this conflict, excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and get ourselves something here. Uh, see what we've got available. Uh, so could start moving down. I think that's what we're gonna get, yeah. We were already moving down this branch. I wanted that army movement speed. Uh, and then it'll also let us get to that quick march. So that'd be super helpful. Uh, so we'll probably want to have these ships move over here. Not that one. That's not gonna carry very many units, is it? Uh, these guys here. Uh, move on over to here. And then once we get all of our units down there and, and ready to, to deploy, we'll declare war on Sparta. Uh, so that means, because I didn't do it in this episode, that we'll be doing the uh, uh, the lecture uh, on, which is going to be on on the Roman conquest of of Greece, uh, how that how that started and and uh, how it progressed. Obviously, you know, in the time limit that we can we can do, it can't get uh, can't go too much in depth. But that'll be that'll be next episode, guys. Although. I wanted to be at one where we're at war with Macedon, so I could wait uh, a couple videos. But yeah, if we're still at war with Sparta at the end of this video, uh, then I'll do it. I'll do the lecture on that uh, in the next episode. So Lofty Notions. So if we do this one, you know, give him the job over him, the current Praetor, he's much better at the job, but I think this could cause problems with the family, so we'd have to find somebody else to appoint there. But man, he is, you know, a lot better. I suppose it makes sense, although his loyalty is lower. And, and I guess that's the other question is, where is his statesmanship at? It, it's a bit lower as well, so he might actually not perform better at that job. He's only one better. See, I don't know if we want to uh, to bother with doing this here. Uh, oops, I got the wrong button here. Uh, you know, because this is a pretty good one, the aggressive expansion change. So it's always helpful, but it will actually end up getting less, I think, because the statesmanship being lower. Uh, the loyalty being a little bit lower as well will also result in less political influence. You know what, let's let's give him the job. Yeah, we'll give him the job. Uh, and that did not irritate the families. Apparently we're in a good position there. Okay, fantastic. Uh, so these guys are just about over here. We're just putting on those ships now as well. I mean, we don't have to have them all land at the same time, I suppose. Uh, let's go with the stability here since our stability is currently ticking down. In fact, do we want to go with the divine sacrifice? Yes, we do. Let's go ahead and do that again. Ships are almost there. Units are there. Uh, let's go ahead and pay for the ships. Uh, though we do have to do this event first. Uh, how are we looking? I always go down there. I don't know why. I'm trying to look at the, uh, the approval here. Uh, so the Amazonada is already approved of us. So yeah, we'll just go ahead and say we cannot spare the men. It's 14,000 and yeah, when they're already at 100, there's really no point. It's the only reason why we're not doing that. Uh, so let's go ahead and pay for the fleet now. We'll pay for the forts as well since war will be starting here very soon. Uh, we're going to let this go by a month just so our fleet can get the... Uh, Stop these guys training. Get a little bit of morale. I'm not too worried about uh, the fleet action though because they are uh, they got 14 ships, uh, so they're vastly outnumbered. Uh, as far as allies, has anything changed in that situation? Yes, 
Thrace is now their ally. So we'll be at war with Thrace as well. Uh, irrelevant. They don't have any ships. They'll bring their troops down here, though, so we'll have to fight those. Uh, but I feel like we're still going to vastly outnumber. And they got to get all the way across Macedonian territory if Macedon even gives them access. So that's the question. Because, you know, yeah, they don't, have any, they don't have any ships to transport them. So yeah, I'm not too worried about it, guys. Uh, let's go and attack. It's a bummer because, you know, Thrace was our, our friend for some time. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and start this conflict. Get our troops onto their ships. Now, we could have attacked once we were over here already. And you see, we were actually trading with Sparta uh, for a few things. So that's going to cause some issues here. Uh, I think we need... I, I don't know. We lost. So let's just let it tick a month because I clicked through that too damn quick. Now, yeah, let's go and get our, our troops uh, onto the ships. And we might not be able to get them all on there. Let's we'll see. Yeah, we can't get them all on there. We can come back for those 12,000, though. Yeah, I could have waited to declare war until we had our ships, like, right outside here. That would have been an option as well. And then let's get these guys onto the ships. And bring them on over to here. Yeah, we'll have them attack up this way, I suppose. Though I think the... the you know what? Actually, let's do this differently. We'll have them go here. And them go over to here. Yeah, we'll attack right there. All right, we need to slow this down a bit. And has the month ticked? I don't know when we declared war. It is not. Yeah, we declared war here in July. All right, so the troops are there. Let's go ahead and get them landing. Let's see how we want to do this. Uh, so just taking that will give us access to all this once we have this and the, uh, the fort there. So let's go and attack here first. Grab this. Uh, we'll grab the fort and then we'll grab this province here. Just waiting for these ships to get over here and then we'll have them attack right there. Go after Olympia. So we'll go after the, the fortification here. Uh, we don't. We could split these guys into two if we want to. We don't have to keep them all together. That's really unnecessary, honestly. But uh, no, we're going to tell them. No more trade goods for you. Uh, so we are in the next month. Let me see what trade good we lost here. It was the precious metals, and that's a pretty good one uh, to have. So let's go ahead and see if we can't find some precious metals. Uh, if I can figure out where they're at. Yeah, it looks like there's nothing here, but that's unfortunate. So I believe we are actually trading away some of our own precious metals. So therefore, we're going to have to cancel that. So to exports, sort this. Uh, we actually only have one precious metals. Uh, but yeah, we're going to cancel that. We do lose some money, of course, but I think it's worth it for the, uh, the bonus here. There we go. Beautiful. Just got that fixed. Uh, I did forget about these guys again. Not surprising. I always forget about the damn road building. Uh, so let's have them... See how we want to do this. I think we'll have them build a road across here now uh, to connect to these roads. Yeah, I think that's the best way to, to do it. To connect from Milan here, or what would be Milan, over to Venice. So that in the future, they can use our Roman roads to fight each other. Because you know they're going to probably spend a lot of time doing that. All right, so going here, uh, these guys are ready to attack. Let's go ahead and... And... Hmm. Oh, that's not on the coast. I thought it was. So we got some trade offers here. They want to trade with us. We're going to tell them yes, uh, because we're trying to... We've been trying to get their opinion up. With the aggressive expansion down some, uh, let's try improving opinion again. Remember, we're, we're not even trying to get it all that high in order to just check out if they would be willing to... Uh, you know, become our vassal. Uh, so we're, we're trying to offer them client status, and we can't do that just yet. Maybe. If we have the opinion high enough, we give them some gifts and stuff. It's a possibility. Who else are we increasing opinion? We don't need to do them anymore, because we're not doing the, uh, yeah, we don't need to do them anymore since we're not doing that mission tree. So we can go to get that canceled. Oh yes, that's right, we have multiple units here. Uh, so I was going to send them both in here, and then we'll go pick up the, the last little batch of troops there. Uh, what is it, like uh, 12,000 men? Alright, so with these guys here, uh, they are going to... Let's see how we want to do this. Alright, so they'll be our fighters, they'll be our siegers. Uh, so let's go after any forts here, though there are no forts here. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, well, we can attack their ally. They've got a fort. So we'll go and attack that ally fort. Yeah, we'll start with that. And then let's just have these guys grab key provinces. 
Uh, so let's go and pick up the rest of these troops here. Uh, I suppose we could have picked them up with this fleet. That would have been an option as well. Uh, is there any... F yes, there is... Yeah, Delphi uh, obviously has a uh, fortification that we'll need to, to use our fleet to help us with. So we'll have them go there now. I don't know where the Spartan fleet is, but you can you can bet they're going to try and hide from us. They're not really going to be interested in fighting us. Uh, so let's go after these capital regions here. We'll do this one next. Everything will flip on over to us. And this should be a relatively easy conflict, though. Where are the Spartans? That's the question. They're avoiding conflict here. Maybe they had like uh, uh, maybe they had a prophecy. They gotta wait a certain amount of time before they can go to war. Uh, so let's have these guys join the Legion here. We'll have them help us out. Taking provinces here. So the Legion can go ahead and move after that 6,000 since they are now done with the siege. Uh, so yeah, I'd like to, to fight the, uh, the Spartan army here. And again, this should be a, a really easy conflict overall. Uh, so this is all flipping over to us. Uh, is this a, a different... No, no, this should flip over to us as well. So I guess we can have these guys go after the, the 2,000. Can you not go... Yeah, I can't go that way because of the fort. Alright, so we'll have to go this way instead. And I, I assume they're going to try and join the, the 6,000 Spartans. And... Yeah, these guys are coming over here now. I suppose we could just get them onto the port right here. Might be the best way to do it. So they can go straight into taking that capital location. Oh yeah, it's just 2,000 men on their side, and until Thrace gets down here, which they will have a decent sized army, uh, I assume, but yeah, until Thrace gets down here, we don't really have anything to worry about. We can go here, and then they can't even come over this way, unless, again, unless Macedon gives them access, and uh, if Macedon doesn't give Thrace access, then there's nothing they can even do. Uh, let's go ahead and attack these guys here, and let's set these guys taking over the capital there. Let's put these guys out here for now. Yeah, should be able to quickly wipe out those 2,000. You can see the 6,000 are now on the march south. They're not interested in fighting our legion. And really key here is just taking over these, these provinces, guys. So yeah, we'll go on over to here and still trying to engage. Let's go with... I'm going to let the men run free, freely here. Alright, so we're completely done over here. Is there any more fortifications left? Let's just take a look here. No. Uh, just the one we're already sieging. Okay. So yeah, we can just go and march into here, though. We won't be able to get through their territory, of course. We'd have to go back out uh, to sea. But I think it's probably what we're going to do. Uh, I could ask them for access, but nah, I don't want to ask them. I don't need their permission. I'll do what I want. Uh, we'll just go through here and then just land right there. It's the best way to do this, I think. And then with these guys here, does this region... Yeah, this is all one region here. Uh, I mean, don't really need these guys over here, honestly. I think we'll probably just keep them in this region. Uh, we're going to pump too many troops over here and then have supply issues. Uh, so let's not let's not do that. So yeah, we haven't even fought the Spartan jet. Do we want to fight with these guys? I feel like they would probably do the job just fine. Yeah, they, they'd be fine to do it. Let's go and attack the Spartans. If we can. Looks like we cannot. Uh, they, they are being blocked or protected by the, uh, the fort there. Uh, so let's instead go after... Hmm. Yeah, we might not be able to go after anything because of the fort. Yeah, we're gonna have to wait. Uh, what we might end up doing is just assaulting it, although never mind, it's done. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's go ahead and attack over here. Attack the Spartans. Oh, we didn't need to be gentle there, but... Still doing that siege there. And they do have access to, to Macedon territory. I, I'm imagining that they uh, imagine they want us to uh, to fight each other. So yeah, they want Thrace to come through here with their their troops. Why would they not? That'd be silly not to give them access. I feel. Uh, we're just going to grab this. I don't know where the hell that, that Spartan army went. Oh, there they are. Yeah, we're gonna have trouble getting them. Uh, what we're gonna have to do is wait until they come. Yeah, we'll have to wait until they they come over this way or something. Uh, again, we could ask for access to Macedonian territory, and we will if that's the only. Uh, option here. I just prefer not to. Uh, we're about to get control of both of these two here. And let's let the men roam freely. And is there any more Spartan territory? 
Uh, I don't think so. I think that's it, guys. Uh, let me just uh, double check on this. Look at the uh, the diplomacy map mode and see if there's anything we don't have over here. Uh, I guess there is territory over here if we wanted it to go get everything. Uh, oh, because Thrace has territory over here. I see. And as does Sparta. All right, so yeah, we could go and grab that too. Uh, I, I suppose there's really no reason not to. Uh, we would have to bring our ships over here though. Uh, so let's go and get a few of these over here. And yeah, we'll just do an invasion. Because yeah, we'd have to get access to Macedon. We might have to ask them guys. Just because it would be so much easier if we did. Yeah, I don't even know where that Spartan army went. These guys are cowards. The Spartans, man, look at them. They're not even protecting their home territory just because they're outnumbered. I could have swore there was a story about outnumbered Spartans that I heard somewhere. <laughs> These cowards not fighting us, man. Uh, so, I don't really want to fight them with these. These guys here are pretty cruddy. We'll fight them with the Legion. Now, we probably we might even be able to win just because we outnumber them 2 to 1, but I don't see any reason to, uh, to do it that way. Yeah, we'll come up over here. I have a feeling they're probably gonna run. Yeah, they're gonna keep on running. Okay, there's there's no way. We gotta ask for, we gotta ask for access. Unfortunately, yeah, it's a, it's a bummer. Uh, Cause I don't want to ask for anything. They they wouldn't give us access. Okay, so that's not even an option then. I was thinking I was just uh, delaying it. Yeah, it looks like this is not even a choice. All right, so this is outside of our naval range. So that's something to keep in mind, I guess. So it's going to get the, uh, I suppose we could have done it through this port here. That might be the best way to do it, actually. So that way they're not taking attrition here any longer than they have to. We don't want to get any ships sunk. So, yeah, I don't know what these guys are doing here. They don't even know what they're doing. But if we're going to try and get all this territory here conquered, and we still do have a siege going as well. Uh, let's go ahead and have these embark. And then we'll go ahead and attack. Let's see how the best way to go about doing this would be. So they do have multiple fortifications. Let's go with this easier one first. We might be able to just wipe Sparta off the map. And we did finish up sacking there. That that took a while. Let's let the ro men roam freely. And at this point, yeah, we have everything over here. We're just trying to get these islands in. Okay, uh, so let's just move these guys somewhere. So yeah, we'll go ahead and have the fleet's gonna take us over here. We'll have the army attack there and they're just gonna assault the fort immediately so we can get this done. So yeah, they'll get over there, we'll assault. Just make sure that these guys aren't able to, to actually take any of their territory back, of course. Uh, we lost one of our governors, so we're gonna have to, to replace him. And that's the governor of that one island. Uh, so it doesn't really matter who we appoint here. Probably don't wanna put our best guys. Uh, and I would say the martial stat doesn't matter. It's pretty irrelevant. Uh, so yeah, let's let's put this uh, pro consul here. Makes sense uh, putting a pro consul as a governor. That's what we'll do. All right, so let's go ahead and have these guys assault. Yeah, Sparta's gonna be very quick. You know what? We might not be at war with Greece anymore. Uh, you know, after after this conflict is is going pretty quickly, uh, and I assumed it would, uh, but I, I thought it'd be a little bit harder than it actually is. I thought we'd actually fight the Spartans, but yeah, we haven't even fought them yet. They're just too cowardly. And I thought Thrace would bring their troops over here as well, uh, because it looks like Macedon is just fine giving access to whoever wants it. Uh, so let's go ahead and have... Oh, the fleet can't go there. Okay, so we'll have these guys go here, and then we'll attack uh, the two Thracian provinces over here. So we'll start here, since this one uh, does not have a fort, so it'll be easier. And we did just assault. Yeah, they're, they're fleeing. I don't know where they're going or what they're doing. Uh, Thrace could come up over here as well. Uh, in which case we have a legion to fight them. A legion just sitting here when they're supposed to be building roads. Uh, so yeah, we'll go through... Actually, I, I want them going through here. Yeah, like that. We want them go through Mantua. Mantua needs Roman roads too, guys. We're going to hit all these key Italian cities up, or future key Italian cities. Hmm. We have control here. We have the, the fleet is still in port. Did we push them out of port? There we go. All right, so they're pushed out now. Let me see if I can't get them engaged. Probably not, they're gonna flee. Yeah, we're, we're not catching them, guys. I don't even know where they're gonna go, though. Uh, so, let's get these guys onto that island. Yeah, this is all we're, we've got left to do. Uh, so this is just a month here. We'll have the fleet then join them in the port. 
and embark, and then just have them come right back out, and then we can we can buy it. Uh, that last Thracian island there. Uh, yeah, we'll just come back here, guys. Clearly, uh, they, they got away from us. Although they could end up... You know what? Let's just follow along the coast here and see where that Spartan army is running off to. Uh, we do need a, a new Marshall Researcher. Okay. Uh, we have a level 9 guy here. Is that really the best we can do, though? Let's just take a look at our offices here. Uh, yeah, apparently that's the best we can do. Okay. Uh, we could also take a look at our families, or our characters, I should say, and see if there's anybody here that might need to uh, uh, become a citizen. Uh, looks like that's not the case. Yeah. Okay, so let's just put whoever we got then, whoever that character was. Doesn't really matter, just the, the highest. Uh, we actually have three level 9 guys. They're all minor characters. Okay, well, we'll want to go with the guy with the, this uh, trait. He's clearly the best, best uh, choice there. Okay, um, for whatever reason, this guy has dropped remarkably in the uh, in his zeal. He's become a lot less zeal, uh, zealous. So let's replace him, because, yeah, he is cruddy. Uh, now, I don't know if that is going to irritate his family. No, but his family will no longer be grateful, so that's something to consider. All right, well, for now, let's place this scholar in, in position here. We could do a level 9 instead of this scholar. You know what? I know that this does give you a higher chance... Yeah, I mean, it, well, he's a family member, so that's how we'll look at it. Uh, it does give us that, that chance to get that event that just gives us the, the free innovations. So, yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll do him because he's a scholar and because he's a member family, not just for one of those reasons. Uh, let's go and attack over here. We'll have to fight the 2,000 that are there, but it should be easy enough uh, just because we outnumber them by so much. And I just want to see where these, uh, these Spartans are going. I assume they're going to come up here and attack. Flocking to the banner. Uh, so, the honorable people of this province have turned out in droves to see the renowned general, and this, of course, our... Wait, who is this? This is this general here, the legate. Uh, a delegation have requested the honor of sending a number of the young men to join the army, citing their virtual fanaticism as a great boon during warfare. So this will give us three new units. They'll be lo loyal to the general, though. Or we say this could have unfortunate consequences. Hmm... I was going to take down their provincial loyalty for some time, uh, for 120 months by quite a bit. That's what I'm trying to say. And he's going to lose loyalty as well. Uh, and we lose stability. Yeah, I guess we'll just do this and then disband them. I don't really want whatever these, these guys are they're sending us. Uh, now, I don't know which legion that is. That's right here. Because uh, I assume that they're going to be cruddy. Yeah, I mean, they gave us two chariots. <laughs> yeah, two chariots. I don't really want that. Maybe we'll just get rid of the chariots, though. I mean, the rest of these aren't bad. Uh, whatever they gave us. Yeah, we'll just get rid of the, the two chariots, guys. Uh, I don't really see why I'd want to keep those. Uh, so let's just go ahead and create a new army, though we can't do that right now. We'll have to wait until after they stop moving. Yeah, we'll just kind of follow along the, the army there. So this should be done soon, and then we just got to do the, uh, the siege, and then we're ready to end the conflict and take over this territory. All right, yeah, you completely wiped them out. Excellent. Oh yes, that's right. We want to get rid of these stupid chariots here. Just take a while to get the road built though. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and, and split off. We have to turn the road building off. Uh, split off the, oh, it's four units of chariots. I knew it was gonna be garbage. But I guess it's better than getting the effects that we were getting. So we'll get rid of those, and then now they're at 15.5, and that's fine, I don't care. Uh, let's go ahead and get those roads building again. Alright. Yeah, it's much better than taking those penalties uh, that we would have gotten. So do we just want to assault here, just to get it done? Yeah, I suppose we could do that. Could also just wait a little while, too. I mean, I guess we don't have to worry about them attacking us over here. Because they are quite a distance away, and for whatever reason, uh, Thrace is not coming up this way. And the Augur died. Okay, so we're going to have to replace him. And as far as, like, uh, what this gives us, that's the Omen Power one. So, could do just somebody to appease this one family here. I think that's what we're going to do, because, yeah, we can get them up to Grateful. And he's not even all that bad, overall, considering, I mean... 
Uh, so, you know what, let's just try and do an assault here, see if they are successful at that. Because uh, then we're, we're done with the, the war guys. Uh, hopefully we can get everything uh, with the current war score since I'm not going into their territory. Yeah, it looks like he was not able to, to do that. And, and because I lost so many men, we now no longer can continue the siege. I was a little bit worried about that happening. Uh, so that's unfortunate. But they will get their numbers up. And we just got to wait for a little while for them to get that. There we go. Let's see. Got it up. And time to continue the siege. But yeah, I was, I was kind of concerned that uh, that would end up happening. Because we had already done a, a couple of assaults with that, that army. Uh, where are they? I think they're still coming up this way. Could be wrong though. Just trying to keep our eyes on them. Uh, let's go ahead and connect here now. Although again, I, I kind of feel like I want to go through here. Yeah, we'll connect with this road right here, guys. And then after that, we're gonna want to make sure we have roads uh, going all the way up to the edges here. And we got a choice here: 100 gold. Uh, so this character would get 100 gold. And we'd get 80 gold, or we could say for the state, in which case this character would get loyalty, and that territory would get a fortress, which we probably don't want. So we'll just take the we'll take the money. We actually have a lot of money to spend here, guys. Uh, so we're gonna want to do that soon. But I'm trying to get this siege done so we can finish up this uh, this conflict. Yeah, I'd like to get the, the war done. There we go. All right, excellent. So with that, we are now ready to end the war. Let's see what all we can gain. You know, obviously we don't have the war score as high as it could be. Yeah, we're gonna take all this. Uh, anything we can get here, I'd love to get. Yeah, we can get we can get the Oracle. Can we get all this? No. Okay, I was I was a little bit concerned we would better get everything. Because the war score wasn't high enough. Uh, what about this one here? We might be able to get this one here. Yeah, we can get that one, um, but can't get either of these two guys. Yeah, okay, well that's fine. Yeah, we'll just take over all the uh, Spartan territory. You know what, can I get this one? I cannot, we don't have enough points to get that one either. So they'll they'll remain uh, independent. We'll deal with them in, in a later time. Uh, so uh, we wipe out Sparta, that's, that's uh, the point here. Uh, so let's go ahead and accept this. The city of Athens has finally fallen to our troops and is now in our hands. Athens was one of the two major actors in the Peloponnesian War. Uh, we haven't gotten the other actor, Sparta, even though we wiped out Sparta. We haven't got their their uh, capital city yet. As well as the head of the Athenian League and one of those who struggled against Persian oppression. It, is, it was known as a center for philosophers from all around Greece and for their particular democratic process and how their city-state should proceed. After Macedonians came to the stage in regional of uh, politics, Athens has often sought to regain their power and independence. With the city under our control, our men and advisors wonder how we should treat our old enemy. There have been people asking for us to sack the city to the ground and bring everything valuable back to Roma. So we can say the home of the philosophers will be unaffected by our rule, uh, we'll gain popularity we don't need, and Athens will gain a local population happiness of plus 15%. We can say we will only take some cultural artifacts back home, in which case we're going to gain a bunch of money, and... We'll lose some popularity, gain some prominence, and the population will be unhappy. 12.5% of the Athenian population will die. Or you say take everything and leave nothing of value behind. In which case we'll gain a ton of money. We'll get increased research as well from everything we're taking there. 25% uh, negative happiness penalty. 33% uh, of the populations of Athens will die. I feel like we got to do this one, man. Uh, yeah, this is Athens. The home of the philosophers will be unaffected by a rule, of course. And I don't think we're going to have enough of any pop from Greece to, to integrate them and then be able to get their traditions. Unfortunately, no. Yeah, we can't do that just yet. But that that's, would be the plan, would be to you know change up the Punic culture so they're no longer integrated since we're going to get that one bonus after the next war. Uh, and then instead integrate one of these Greek cultures so that we can get their tradition tree since we can already get theirs. Uh, we also have a decision here to take a look at. We'll, we'll have to do that next episode because unfortunately I do have to end this one here. Uh, but yeah, we'll select a governor. Uh, we will get our armies back. Uh, but yeah, we've conquered some territory here in Greece, guys. Uh, so next, if we wanted to attack them, then we'd have to fight the Egyptians. So it might be instead uh, better to go after Macedon next. Yeah, we might do that next, but of course Carthage would be uh, the one that makes the most sense since we now can declare war on them again. That peace treaty is over. Uh, so yeah, maybe we'll go after Carthage next so we can finish our mission tree and then we'll do Macedonia. 
in which case that's when we would do the uh, the lecture because yeah I don't think it it makes a whole lot of sense to do the lecture now and and we could do it in episode 30 which I, I typically try and do it like every five or ten episodes uh, so yeah that would make sense to do it in episode 30 so like next episode we'll go after Carthage uh, after we burn off a little bit of aggressive expansion uh, and then we'll go after Macedonia and the episode after that. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next one, and thanks for watching.